The first CD Walkman was the Discman, also known as the D50 or D5, depending on where you lived. It was launched by Sony in 1984. And in 1997, the brand name was changed from Discman to CD Walkman. Now, Discman and CD Walkman players are no longer produced. Now, this early CD Walkman developed by Sony was based on the design of the CDP-101 CD player. And Sony worked very hard to reduce the size of the CD player, trying to make it as portable as possible. They initiated something called the CD-CD project, which stood for Compact Disc Cost Down Project. Now, they wanted to produce a player that was one-tenth the size of the original unit, and they wanted to do this by August of 1983. They aimed to make a player that was about the same size as four CD cases stacked one on top of the other. Now, the D50 was released in November of 1984. It came with a remote and repeat functionality. And at that time in Japan, it retailed for about 49,800 yen, which was equivalent to about 350 US dollars in 1984. Now, after the re release of this particular unit, a portable CD market exploded, and the price of competing CD players from other manufacturers dropped. The number of available CD titles also grew enormously. Over the coming years, it became more and more common to see CD Walkman rather than cassette Walkman, especially in the 1990s. And I remember this very vividly. I recall early models were quite prone to skipping and eventually anti-skip technology was developed. And this became a must-have feature for anyone looking to buy a new CD Walkman. I recall actually people using CD Walkman as their principal CD players in their home entertainment system if they couldn't afford an actual big stereo system. And of course, people also used them in their cars if they couldn't quite afford to have an actual CD deck in their car. But of course, to do this, you would need an adapter. Bass Boost was also another common feature that was very popular. And I remember many CD Walkmans, not just the Sonys, but many people would use Sony in-ear headphones to listen to their CD Walkmans. And I did post a video a little while ago focusing on Sony in-ear headphones. I'm still quite a fan of this particular style of headphones. Now, other popular CD Walkman were manufactured by companies like Kenwood, Denon, uh, Panasonic had their famous Shockwave series, RCA, and Pioneer. And more recently, CD Walkmans were still being manufactured by companies called Monodeal and Tyler. And many of these later CD Walkmans could also play MP3 files. Now, many CD Walkman required two AA batteries, although there were several that required four AA batteries. Now eventually CD Walkman started to lose popularity as people moved to MP3 players in the early 2000s. And I recall everybody, pretty much everybody I knew owned an iPod kind of around the mid 2000s, around 2003 to 2005. iPods were so popular. And I myself owned a couple of RCA CD Walkmans in glorious red, which you can see on the screen right now. And I actually used to use these for live shows. Back in the day, I used to perform my own music at live gigs. And sometimes I would have backing tracks on CD. And believe it or not, I would use these CD Walkman to play my backing tracks. Yeah, it was a whole other era. Now my question to you, do you own a CD Walkman? Do you still use it? Do you have one in your car? Do you like them? 
Who do you think manufactured the best CD Walkman? What was the most reliable CD Walkman that you ever used? Please feel free to leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you can join us again next time. Please leave a comment, give us a thumbs up, and as always, please subscribe to the channel. It would be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. We'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye-bye.